Break it's down. a lot of things I don't understand, but I understand how to play my part. I'm a soldier, dirt and dig it hard. I just be hustling hard. So my story is about how I hacked into my ex man ran camera and saw him with another bitch. Baby, I'm crazy. I got trust issues, so I had to log into the ring as soon as we got together. I, I got to see everything going in and out of there. That's my house. One day, we got in a little argument or whatever, and he tried to log me out of it. I'm like, why you log me out of the ring? But I knew he was going out. I'm like, I'm going to watch this ring. I'm going to sit on here. Every time a notification comes through, I'm going to hop it on. <laughs> and I finally see the roommates coming in, and I know he coming behind the roommates. Each one of them got a female as they walking in. But he walking in with the homeboy right here and he on the other side of the homeboy. Who in the middle? I'm calling, calling, calling. He won't answer. So I hop in the car. I'm flying. His house 15 minutes. I got there in five. One Damn. night they put me in. And they like, hey, he not even here. So I'm like, I know he here. And if he not here, I'll just sit on the bed and wait on him. Everybody trying to make sure I don't get in their room. I mm -hmm. get in the room. Ain't nobody in the room. The bathroom door closed. <laughs> Yeah, so I yeah. see him by the tank. He's like, what you doing here? I'm like, I saw you on the rain. I know somebody in here. Mm -hmm. Just move out my way. I got pee. I walked to the toilet. So I'm in the court of my <laughs> I drag her all the way to the living room. Get the fuck out of my nigga house because now it's his turn. Mm -hmm. Long story short, somebody went to jail and it wasn't him or her. He didn't press charges on me, but the bitch did. I did get found out by him. Yeah. <laughs> he turned to stop me. I would say it's not the other female's fault. Blame it on your nigga. He's the issue. But then again, she did say she got trust issues. But niggas nowadays, they be reinforcing your damn trust issues. I don't blame her. The caption on the post did say she hacked into the ring camera, but she logged in. The nigga gave her the login and she was trying to log her back out. Unless there was a part that I just mi misunderstood on this damn post. All right, I got a story on how my baby daddy cheated on me in a hotel with a bitch and his man was there. So I had to get my get back, you feel me? He was chilling or whatever. The nigga was in a hotel with all these bitches and shit. They in there selling drugs. They running in and out there with dope, coke, weed. Okay, cool. You want to play with me, bitch? And y'all want to be in the room? Cool. I straight called the feds. Hello? Hello? My baby's in this room, bro. My, they got my baby in this room. They won't get my baby out this room. Get my baby out this motherfucking room. He only an instant. Oh my God. Man, fuck out of here. But you thought she was gonna have fun, bitch? No, they came in. Damn, like she really, she she should become a voice actor. Y'all heard that voice? So like she was really in distress. The that whole shit, and then they ain't find shit. So I called them back again. Come back, bitch. Yeah. Come back, yeah. Y'all didn't do right. <laughs> So first I went in that bitch. First I went in that bitch like, why the fuck did he come in the hmm. Let me ask you stern. Oh my God, what happened? Oh my God. What happened? Oh my God. They like, oh yeah, we put it under the mattress. They were searching my bags. Caught ass bitch. Y'all ain't look under that motherfucking mattress. Oh damn. They done stitch on themselves. Go back. Go back and run that shit back. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, give me back that plate. Anyway, yeah. I done did hella shit, but yeah, that's just something slight. <laughs> women be ignoring all these red flags he's a drug dealer why why are you still with him but then again women enjoy conflict drama so being a drug dealer it comes with that lifestyle i assume that's why she's still april 5th my baby dad got shot he got killed outside his mama house by his cousin police say that at least one person is dead after a shooting in north minneapolis overnight this was on north russell and oak park avenues just after midnight hey this is a this is a real real story Night, Minneapolis police say that this was a double shooting. The one man died, the other was seriously hurt. His name is Marcus David Williams Jr. They got into an argument. My baby dad was like, if you don't trust us, stop coming around us. And his cousin punched him in the face. So he knocked the nigga out the car. So my baby dad got out the car, he take his weapon from him, and they go toe to toe. Baby dad knocked him out two more times. Cousin get mad, runs to my baby dad mom, and was like, I'm finna kill your son, I'm finna kill your brother, and I'm finna kill his friend. So he goes back outside, goes behind the dumpsters, and starts shooting. Baby that was getting out the car didn't even know where it was coming from or nothing i need to get shot in his arm and in his stomach but the story get back because my man's went out like he's like come on now so boom my baby that emptied a clip on that nigga baby that shot him in the chest that man's still alive my baby that is gone crazy part about that is a few weeks after that his cousin came from out the coma and all this other shit and induced coma he goes on facebook he's trying to play it like my baby dad was trying to rob him for a three five and a couple dollars and a fanny pack after all that happened i guess he deleted his facebook page wait wait so like how does she know this this whole story when have y'all pressed charges on the cousin come out they need to find a weapon i'm like y'all don't need a weapon if he just made the confession i screenshotted it okay so he said he did it april 5th my baby dad got shot like are they real family members because she said his cousin i know you know black people be throwing around the, the, the cousin phrase my brother my sister 
all that good stuff but if if that's your real family member like what is there to get mad about like like really anger is temporary your feeling is in the present how are you gonna feel later later on after you kill that cousin you're gonna feel grief sadness regret all because you felt angry at the moment it's not worth it. I was dating this drug dealer. When he used to get drunk, he used to like come and beat on me. I used to fight it back, right? He started getting sick. So he didn't know why he was getting sick. I'm a certified technician and I also compound drugs. Pharmaceutical. I started putting insulin in his water and he kept getting boils. And well, cause like insulin, you know, it make boils, whatever. So it make your skin flare up. So you kept going to the hospital and everything. So one particular night, he came home drunk. Me and him went at it for like hours. I went to that nigga, went to sleep and I put super glue, two little poop poop in his pee pee hole. When we got Ooh. up to go to the bathroom, he could not pee. That bitch blew up and it was fucking black. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. Holy donut shot. I said, baby, what's wrong? This nigga was fucking hollering. Like, you just imagine you can't fucking pee. And guess what my ass did? Because you want to play? I asked the motherfucking hospital. And if anybody know Jacksonville, Florida, shit, it's potholes every fucking world. I hit every motherfucking pothole. And I took your ass to fucking chance, bitch. Which that means you gonna sit there and you're gonna like wait for hours. How do you get rid of super glue in the tip of your penis? They couldn't use the acetone. So they had to use a whole bunch of gel products, like loosen it up. It took a while for them to get it like all out. That nigga was peeing it through a tube for like a couple of days. Like, hey, Chrissy girl. Damn. But then again, he was beating on women. I keep talking. I keep on telling y'all niggas stop beating on these damn women. But damn, give me the damn shivers. I'm her power of attorney. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Christy Nicole. Yes, I just wanted to say, everyone, that this story, this is off, off news. <laughs> nah, but yeah, she could go to prison for that. Facts. And someone did post. I mean, yeah, some of their comment is she can lose her license. Wait, do nurses have licenses? I didn't know that. I thought they had like degrees and stuff. This is another another story where the, the man has a whole bunch of red flags. Uh, well, actually back to back red flags, like day by day. And she didn't want to leave. She, like she, she literally was fighting with this man. I don't get it. Love is a strong thing, I assume. Anyways, on to the next. This is gonna fuck my shit up. Look, first he did that. <laughs> That's not even the worst part. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hey. Then she went to the front. Then hold on, hold on, bro. We gonna go to the back. Look, she okay. did, bro. On my mama. Damn. Okay. Hold back my shit, boy. So look, what happened was, bro. Her best friend got a little touchy. I was drunk. It's the morning time. I'm still drunk from the day before. So we all together. Her friend touching me. She was in the front seat whole time. Her best friend got her hand sneaking through here. Like she touching me through that part. She touching on my. Wait, wait, so she didn't see that? Eyes and shit. And now I'm like, hold on. So I'm, I'm looking at my girl. And my girl not paying no mind. We finally get to my girl shit this morning time. And her best friend was like, can you drop me off? So I was just like, all right, yeah, I'm finna drop you off. And I'm like, babe. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. This nigga is drunk and he's driving. Okay. You wanna go? Now, when she said she didn't wanna go, this her own damn fault on my own. Get to her best friend shit. She like, you wanna come inside? As soon as I walk in, she said, you hungry? You finna door dash? She like, nah, I cook, baby. And I'm like, oh, you cook. So she throwing down. My girl texts me like, where the fuck you at? And I'm like, bro, I'm still over here. I ain't even gonna lie. And she was just like, what you still doing over there? And I'm like, bro, she cooking breakfast. You don't ever cook breakfast. I'm finna eat. What the fuck? I'm finna eat, bro. Damn. Oh, God. Bro, she did that shit too, boy. My mama, she had the pancakes going. She had the eggs, the bacon. This bitch even made grits. My mama ain't even make me fucking grits. I'm like, grits, nigga. Oh, my God. This bitch gonna fuck my shit up. Look. Nah, but you, got, you gotta ask. You got, he, he has to ask the important question. Was it worth it? To be honest, it was worth it. Now I'm, now I'm just playing, now I'm just playing. All the damages to that car probably total up to like seven bands. Breakfast, a hundred dollars, max, max. Me and the boys, we had ran into a grade A eater. I'm talking about eater. She let her run on one time for like some gordita crunchies from Taco Bell. It yeah. gets to the point, goddamn, I start hearing about other niggas around the city just dolphin' her off. So I'm like, oh, this hoe a little too nasty for me. So boom, 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 she gone. She out, she off my radar. My people call me. Oh, he Brag, why I got me a 
long chick. I say, for real? He like, she a nice girl, boy. I think I can do some well. He like, she, I'm gonna take you to meet her. We get to the little spot. It was a um, fucking convenience store, right? I walk in, I'm looking around like, what a little bitch here that my, my, my people talking about. I see the hoop. I'm not even looking at her car. Ain't no motherfucking way. So I'm talking to him, he like, yeah, man, you know, I don't even really kiss bitches in the mob and all that. This motherfucker's special. So I'm like, where she at? And I'm trying to find a respectable bitch. <laughs> this motherfucker walked up to the bitch and kissed her on the mouth. Listen, I almost Ooh. fell in the floor like it was a wet flow sign or some shit. I'm like, ain't no motherfucking way. I like nigga. How did I that nigga kiss the city? I saved him. I got him together with the fellas, and we know how niggas get to trading stories and shit. So we brought up the stories. <laughs> So then he cut her off. Oh, he was mad. He thought my wife you ain't there. Nigga, you gotta do your own research. Oh, God. <laughs> Me and the boy. Should have looked at the Carfax. <laughs> like, this is why it's important to get a vehicle with low mileage, okay? Because you don't want no other man talking about, talking about, I done drove this car before. I done did that, this, that, and a third, you feel me? But women don't understand that. Anyways, that was the last story. Hope y'all enjoyed this toxic confession. And like I said in the beginning, if y'all want to see more, go to Kings of Toxic on Instagram. And then for the ladies' side, it's Queens of Toxic. Two C's at the end. Be blessed. Don't be toxic. Bless y'all females. Walk away. There is always the option of walking away. Y'all niggas too. Always the option of walk walking away. But guess what? I'm gone. Yeah.